Internal Revenue Service IRS Tax News. IRS seeks comments on upcoming energy guidance. Oh, I've got some comments. How about you pass policies that make energy production cheaper instead of vice versa? There's some advice. How about you pass policies allowing for oil refinement instead of making policies that make long-term investment unfeasible? while simultaneously demagoguing American companies for not refining oil. You know, when passing policy designed to increase the cost of energy, how about you don't lie about it, calling it something like an Inflation Reduction Act or something? I mean, honestly, politicians, I swear. Sometimes I feel like I'd like to stop their greenhouse emissions. Just kidding, just kidding. Don't blame me for any naked crazy person in San Francisco attacking some politician with a hammer or anything. It's like, breaking news! The crazy person was incentivized by an online accountant calling for politicians' greenhouse gases to be turned off permanently. Which led directly to this heinous act. Dots connected. It's like, uh, no, no, uh, <laughs> the dots aren't connected. You spilled a bunch of coffee on the map and then called them dots. You have to distinguish between the data dots and the coffee dots, you dolts. Or possibly get a new map if you want to come to any kind of like logical conclusion. Honestly, like what do these people learn in journalism school these days? I swear, in any case, first joke. According to Nancy Pelosi, our economic problems aren't due to inflation, but rather are caused by the increase in the cost of stuff. It's not, the fight is not about inflation. It's about the cost of living. F is it? Obviously, you're not a golfer. And it's like, excuse me, but isn't the cost of living going up because of inflation? I mean, that's like the definition of inflation. You have a problem with authority, Mr. Anderson. You believe that you are special that somehow the rules do not apply to you, obviously you are mistaken. I mean, what is going on with people these, honestly, that's like saying vomiting isn't the problem. It's the excretion of half digested food out of my mouth that's the problem. You know nothing. In fact, you know less than nothing. If you even knew that you knew nothing, that'd be something, but you don't. Is that you can't say vomiting isn't the problem while also saying that the definition of vomiting is the problem. I mean, do, do you see the inconsistency here? I'm not a smart man. I mean, and this kind of thing is contagious too, I swear. We voters constantly say things like, Personally, I don't mind hiring leaders who clearly have cognitive problem-solving disabilities. When I first saw you, I thought you were handsome. But I do hate it when our leaders can't cognitively solve problems. And of course you spoke. It's like, well then don't hire the dude with the problem solving problems. I mean, it's not compassionate to put him in a position where he needs to solve problems when he doesn't have the capacity to do so. Please disperse. Nothing to see here, please. IR 2022-193, November 3rd, 2022, Washington. The Internal Revenue Service today issued three notices asking for comments on different aspects of extensions and enhancements of the energy tax benefits in the Inflation Reduction Act. In energy, energy benefits, inflation, inflation reduction. How did they connect those dots when they named it? I wonder, well, whatever, let's keep going. The IRS anticipates that constructive comments from interested parties will aid the agency in drafting the guidance items most reflective of the needs of taxpayers entitled to claim energy credits. You got notice 2022-56, there's a link to that here. Request comments related to the qualified commercial clean vehicles provisions and the alternative fuel vehicle refueling property. There's a link to that here. Notice 2022-57, link to that. Requests comments related to the credit for carbon capture. And then you've got notice 2022-58, link to that here. Requests comments related to the credit for the production of clean hydrogen and the clean fuel production credit. I mean, 
Just looking at those three notices as part of the Inflation Reduction Act, I can see that uh, inflation is, is, is indeed transitory at this point. There's no question that it's going away like boom after, the, after this bill has been passed, just like advertised. Any case, the IRS is requesting that those interested in providing feedback to the questions in the notices follow the instructions in the notices to reply by December 3rd, 2022. The latest information on energy guidance and other issues related to the, infl the, inf the inflation, inflation, redu redu reducing the Inflation Act. Okay, it it's available on special page on irs.gov so you can go there and you could try to figure it out more from there and there'll be a link to that here and a link to this other stuff so you can give your give your advice and whatnot and check it out there'll be a link to this in the description